So a group of friends decided they wanted to ditch school and then later finds out that their friend has a messed up secret and they all paid the price for it? Oh yeah, we're about to talk about that right now. <laughs> ditch Day Massacre. This movie was okay, it was pretty good. It was directed by Joe Hendrick, written by Daniel P. Cullen and Ryan Cullen. Um, I thought the movie was pretty good. I, I thought it was okay, but what really messed my head up was the beginning. Okay, you see this you see this girl named Jenny. She gets in the car. Now she's completely wasted. She's at this party. Girl is like gone wasted, which I'm shocked she could even find she's dropped her keys before she even got in the car, so that's how I knew the girl was gone. But then what make matters worse, she gets in the car, she drives the car. The girl's driving, she's texting, she's not even paying the road, no mind, not paying it, no attention by it, no way, shape, or form. And then she ends up Hitting this guy, but not only did this guy, it turns out that he had his wife in the car and his kid that was in the car seat. When the cops showed up at the scene and they pulled the car seat out of the car, the car seat was covered in blood. That was some disturbing shit. Like, and then what's so crazy is that even in real life, people drink drive. Like, people drink drink drive all the time, don't they? They yes, like and Texan. Yeah, and and I really feel my heart goes out for the families that actually go do that because in this movie, when you see how. The story is portrayed in this situation. It just like you really feel that here. So okay, years later down the road, you see Jenny again, played by um, you see Jenny played by Katie Folly, and you know she she's in the house um, getting us getting herself ready for school, and then her boyfriend comes in. He comes in through the window. And he's talking to her, or whatever. So the dad kind of hears something weird because he's a cop, which is he was there. At the scene where, where, you know, his daughter got into an accident. But what made it worse was daddy, as a cop, ended up covering that up. And that what made it really messed up. That he covered up the fact that his daughter killed this man's family. Named, goes by the name of Vince. So, once once that situation happened, you see Vince in the house. He's, like, doing, like, push-ups, butt-ass naked. <laughs> 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 like just getting ready. He got the picture of the girl Jenny and everything. He burns it, light it on fire, crush it. Goes to get in the car. Jenny's parents about to get ready, you know, because they they got they about to go into the city because they have to take care of some business. It was like a court type of situation. So the guy Vince caught up with them, ran them off the road, popped the father in the head with a hammer, hit the mother in the head. <laughs> <laughs> well, what type of running was that? Right. She oh was like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he knocked her ass out. So next thing you know, the parents are situated. So he goes after Jenny, and then turns out that her, her friends showed up at the house because they all decided they wanted to ditch school. So they showed up at the house, and I think that that was the worst day. That was a bad day for them to show up at her house because, man, they pay for it daily. But before I get any further in this review, let's get some movie rated, shall we? I give this movie a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. You know the person the person I mostly feel sorry for is um the neighbor played by Lynn Lowry. She is so sweet. Like <laughs> you just want to give her a hug. You know, she lost her husband. So, you know, she's lonely. You know, she 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 saw the guy Vince because he was on his way. You know, he was just pumped, like pumping himself up in the car, getting ready to go in the house to kill everybody else. I mean, kill Jenny and her friends. And then she calls him over. So he goes over to her. She's like, um, I, it just gets so lonely around here. Um, would you like to have some tea? You can tell, like, you know, she's a lonely woman. She probably haven't even, she didn't probably have got it on, like, within a long <laughs> time. So I want to make sure I say all the right words. I don't want to say, right. <laughs> say nothing wrong. But she's just a sweet lady. You know, she's passing them her bras and stuff like that. She's talking to him while she's getting her laundry. You can tell where she's leading him up to. And the man just took that woman's life. I mean, he took her fingers. <laughs> he mm. took her fingers. He choked her out at the table. I was just like, man, why? Why was you outside? Why was you nosy? You should have just let the man go ahead and do what he needs to do. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many off-the-hook characters in here. Um, what, was the, what was the other chick name? The, the girl, um, Trina, played by Patty uh, Suicide. Padai Suicide. She was off the chain. She's the girl with all the tattoos on her. She's in a room with the guy, and they're about to have sex. And next thing, you know, what really shocked me was she was like, you know, strapped up because he thinking they ready, to, you know, we're about to get it on, whatever. So she puts the dildo on. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and she gave it to the guy. She fucked him behind. I was no good after that. Man, this movie, this movie was crazy. And like I said, the other, the other couple while they're having sex, he creeps up behind the guy while he's going to the other girl, and he hits her, and he hits the guy in the back while he's on top of the girl. And she said, "Oh my God, did you just come at me?" <laughs> <laughs> he took her neck and broke her neck. Check this movie out, Ditch Day Massacre. I thought it was awesome. You can also check it out on um, Amazon. You can rent it. It's awesome. Good movie. Like I said, I really enjoy it. I thought I thought it was okay. I thought it was a pretty good movie. But you really feel Vince like you really feel for this guy. He lost his family. And I'm not going to lie. If, if I was put in a predicament like that, I probably would have done the same thing. Hell, even the mother even said that. <laughs> so, you know, like, you know, it was just completely understood why the man lost his damn mind. Like, I mean, really lost it. This movie was good. Check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this Day Mask. Because I told you what I thought about it. I thought it was an okay movie. And I thought it was pretty good. And it relates a lot to real life. Because people drink and drive all the time. People lose loved ones. Some people, you know, sometimes some people get justice. Some people don't get justice. But in this movie, Vince didn't get no justice. And I understand why the fuck he flipped out. Because I would have too. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.